So, Buttons, you've been doing a lot of great stuff over there at Grind City. And, of course, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's... But I got an awesome thing, though. I have an awesome thing. Sure, I absolutely. Real quick. I don't, I'm not sure if people talk about this as much as they should. Uh, a lot of people are becoming podcasters, right? Yeah. Tons of pod... Everybody's popping up. Yeah, I've, I've noticed. The pod, yeah, along <laughs> with the podcasters popping up are all these little companies like StreamYard and Live. all these little companies mm -hmm. that are soaking up the money for people to, to try to stream live, broadcast live. So what I like to use and what I like to recommend to a lot of the new podcasters, go over and check out Restream.io. Very, very dope product to use uh, when it comes down to streaming you can add um some overlays you can add your your yeah very very dope and you can mm -hmm. use the free version of that yeah. and still have a very nice uh output and it's not as tricky as some things like zoom or your uh stream yard so I, I wanted to bring that to attention to a lot of the new podcasters who are coming up looking for ways to stream live that's cost effective and doesn't limit your time because you right. know when you're using something like zoom yeah. and it's free it yeah. limits your time and it cuts you off restream has a very very um cool format and also does not limit your time does not cut you off and as long as your internet is good that thing is going to stream for as long as you're streaming has a very good connection rate uh yeah very nice i, I like i like it and i trust that people uh if you want to stream because what i try to tell people streaming is great it's cool right but you have to make your product look great you have to make it look good as mm -hmm. well you can't just get on your cell phone and, and it just looks a mess. It has to look good so people will watch it. So you want to use something that's cost effective uh, and, and, and works for what you have. Because all of us don't have all these different pieces of equipment. Right. We may just have our phone or just have our laptop. So what I liked about uh, Restream, when I first started using it, they didn't have a live studio then. No. You could just stream to these different locations. Mm -hmm. Well, they've built a live studio now. So you can add things to your broadcast, add other people, up to 10 people, I believe, on, on, on each broadcast. And that's still on the free version. And they have other paid versions that gets better. So I would recommend people, if you want to get into streaming and you don't want to have to download a lot of equipment, you can use a rate on your browser. Yeah. Go ahead and check out Restream.io. So for us, you we you may be watching us on Restream right now. <laughs> yeah, you, you just may. You because just may. we actually use it. That's what we use to to duplicate our feed out to go to yeah. Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, and it's a yep, free yep. version. It just says powered by Restream, and and you know we delete. Which it. you can edit off. Yeah, you yeah. Can edit that off. Yeah. Once you're done with it, I use it as well. I use yeah. it as well. And why I like it is because it allows me to also stream to my network. Yeah. Yeah. So when I'm live and I'm having uh, conversations with people and I'm interviewing people, we're streaming to all the internet places, but it also allows me to stream to TV. Yeah. At the same time, so I love it. I absolutely love it. We have we have like an account for every show, like the free account, <laughs> so we can do like one thing here and there. Yeah. Because yes. we have uh, we stream the Vimeo, and then that takes care of the Facebook because you have to pay to do Facebook because there's some extra uh, qualifications for that. Or if you want to say, go to say two different Twitch pages or something like that, oh, right, like, right, that, right, that, right. That, that's restream, a yeah. that's a money I add on. So we actually use it like because Restream is good about going to one YouTube account and then like any Facebook you want, and then to manage like other accounts like that and other configurations. Well, it, it's just a little more difficult, right? So it's like, well, Restream we can do this and this, and we just log into this and it's connected to this this yeah. show and then we can we, we have like a layer <laughs> system yeah. of things happening here but no like the, the tools in there like I, i've seen the emails as well because we, we i mean we have the studio and vmix and everything so right, that's how right. we do our you graphics you don't need that but for right person, right but for the yeah. new person that doesn't want to do this with um listen man i'm 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 looking at three different computers in front of me to do this show and an yeah. iPad to manage the Zoom call, right? Yeah. So like not everybody has that, but they want to do something cool. Like you can do that, you know, yeah. and that's for your show doing your thing. You're like, that's great. You know, yeah. that that's that's an awesome get started point for uh, for people like that. And there's like professional things on there. And it, yeah. and, it, and it gets more pro the more you throw a little bit of money at more Restream. More money to it, yeah. So yeah. It, it's been a great option. That's been a great option for that. Vimeo started building in their own uh, graphic system into uh, that too. But again, Vimeo you know, is expensive. Vimeo is expensive. Woo! Yes, Vimeo is <laughs> it is expensive. I looked at them. I was like, all right, well, you know, I can't, you know, I just got my glasses, you know, yeah. that was cost yeah. grip. So, yeah, I can't afford you, Vimeo. <laughs> No, no, it, you, the Vimeo, you don't even think about Vimeo unless you got clients that'll pay that bill. 
Absolutely. You know, that, that is, that's the, and we do. So that's, that's the only reason we have it. But the great thing is then it's a tool that helps out all the rest of the productions that we have going on here too. Right. So then we can up that quality a little bit. Um, so, and it's, and it's a little more reliable than j just going to straight to YouTube or Facebook or something. Cause now Absolutely. if Facebook has a bad night, we've had that. We've tuned in at seven o'clock and Facebook is completely down. And we say, and we tweet, "Hey guys, make sure you go to the YouTube. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. Like, you, it's good to dedicate to that platform, but always have that. Well, what if, what if that platform has a bad night? What am I gonna do about that? So, are and you, that's what help, that, that's that's what we're uh, restream is really good because it is streaming to two or three different places at one time. So, mm -hmm. if Facebook is not bringing up your your stream. Uh, your YouTube could be your Periscope, and you, with your Periscope, you share to Twitter. So your stream is up through Restream. That's what I really, really yeah, like about yeah. them. So, yeah. and, and there might be ways. I think I think maybe on the pay ones, there may be ways to take that retreat, restream and like if you want to embed it right in your website or something like yeah. that, so mm -hmm. that you don't even have to depend on the other ones. If mm -hmm. you want to put your own chat room in there, if yep. you want to, if you want to get to that, and they have like scheduling and and you can upload videos and they'll quote stream live, you know, yeah. things like that. If you want to premiere like a show or something like that, but yeah. not upload it just to facebook and premiere it like right. it, and it, but even when it go, does this to facebook uh ideally it would look like a live video like we're doing now like we're doing so now. yeah so but no a lot of really cool like restream's really really grown up over the last couple it of years it really has i'm yeah. very proud of that company cool. they really invested in streaming the right way because like again there are so many companies that are taking advantage of people wanting to stream mm -hmm. and they have not perfected what it takes to do that no uh, so no. people's streams are crashing meanwhile you're charging people for this restream took a very serious approach to uh streaming and helping people accomplish that goal and they kept it within yep. a price range that from free to the highest bracket is still yeah. Not yeah. going to kill your pockets. I really like that company. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely consider them highly, highly, and we we have also paid for them for certain clients too when we've needed to uh, as well. So.